Yo guys, it's Captain Thorpe here, and there's something that I've been wanting to talk about for a few days now. The Manchester Derby. Now, Paul Pogba, now I know what you're thinking, it's not, it's not just another Paul Pogba run, I'm not going to particularly have a go at him, more about the pundits and the fans that are going so mad about him. But, Paul Pogba scored two goals, right, and he, he inspired a comeback for Man United against City. City had already been demolished by Liverpool um, early, early in the week, so um, they weren't playing their best stuff. But, yeah, well done to United for coming back against them. And Pogba got two of the goals, right? Fair play. However, some of the pundits were going that crazy over how wonderful Pogba is. It really bugged me. I'm, I'm, not, I'm sorry, but it, it really did. Especially Terry Henry. He said that this is the day that where he became a Manchester United player. Now, no, I'm sorry, but just give me a break. Give me a break. He's been here for two years now. £90 million is what he was signed for, and he gets paid over a quarter of a million pounds a week. £260,000. And he's still getting dropped for McTominay, who gets paid £10,000 from the Youngster Academy. 26 times less than Pogba, and Pogba's getting dropped for him. He should be ashamed of himself. That should not be happening to someone getting paid over a quarter of a million pounds. Someone who showed some promise at Juventus, but is showing none of it at Manchester United. We still don't even know his best position. We don't know, is he attacking him? Is he holding defensive? I don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody knows where he can play. He got lucky at Juventus. He had Pirlo next to him, because if he didn't have Pirlo, there would be none of this hype right now about him at all. Pirlo did all the work for him, and he just reaped the benefits, being, you know, continued being a showman, and then, you know, up in his price tag. United fell for it, which is which is good as far as I'm concerned, but, oh, honestly, the pundits and fans need to stop going on about how wonderful he is. To be honest, I do not think that he would get a sniff in that Man City team, or in the Liverpool team, or to be honest, in any of the top six uh, top six sides, right? If you compare him to the likes of De Bruyne, David Silva, from City or from Liverpool, you could go from Oxley Chamberlain, James Milner, Jordan Henderson. He's not a patch on any of them. I'm not trying to be funny. He's not a patch on any of them. I would not take him in my Liverpool team. I would kick him out, I would ditch him. He would ruin the squad mentality. I would not have him anywhere near my club. He's a dreadful player, and he and just the, his his mentality, his his presence will be enough just to rack up the dressing room, and then we, we play worse football. I won't have him anywhere near my team. I'm sure City wouldn't have him anywhere near their team either. But he's in the United team, and after one game, it does not make up for all the dreadful performances he's put in in the past, especially for the ninety million pound price tag. To be honest, I think he's had more haircuts than goals. To be quite honest. And before the Manchester derby, he d he d decides to dye his hair sky blue. It is pure stupidity. Even Gary Neville was saying how stupid that was. Honestly, Paul Pogbridge, he he's stupid. He's a stupid he's a stupid person for dyeing his hair blue in front of the Manchester derby. He's a dreadful footballer, and the pundits are still going on about how wonderful he was. Even in this game where he became a United player, apparently, it was dreadful in the first half. What, so you can get 10 minutes out of him? That's good enough, is it? He's not helped United to any success whatsoever. They are miles behind their so-called rivals in Manchester City. Nowhere near! It's a race for second place in the Premier League, and he should have been the man making the difference when you paid that sort of money for him. When he was talking to Thierry Henry after the game, he said he needed Michael Carrick to teach him that he had to run into the box. Now, I'm not trying to be funny, but that is just embarrassing. That is absolutely pathetic. You didn't know to run into the box. A three-year-old knows to run into the box if they want to score a goal. It's ridiculous! And all these pundits, can you please just stop saying how much ability he has? Because he's shown absolutely none of it at United. Ten minutes of good football in two seasons. And you're all jumping on the Pogba bandwagon. Give me a break. I mean, come on. It's pathetic. He's been dreadful for Man United. So, as much as I said, I don't want this rant just, just dedicated to Pogba himself. It's more about the pundits and the fans. Stop saying how wonderful he is, because he's not. He's shown none of it. He's a dreadful footballer, and he needs to get it into your heads. That that's the case. Like, subscribe, and adios.